How does blood get around the body? Let's start with blood coming back from the body, which goes through the vena cava, to enter the right atrium of the heart. When the right atrium contracts, it pumps blood through the right atrioventricular valve into the right ventricle, which in turn contracts to pump blood through the semilunar valve and into the pulmonary artery, which carries it to the capillaries in the lungs, where it's oxygenated. It then continues into the pulmonary veins and goes back to the heart into the left atrium. This then contracts and pumps the blood through the left atrioventricular valve, or bicuspid valve, to the left ventricle, which in turn contracts and pumps the blood through the semilunar valve into the aorta. The aorta carries the blood off to the rest of the body. As it leaves the heart, the oxygenated blood passes through smaller arteries and then capillaries until it passes back into tiny veins, then progressively bigger and bigger veins until it passes into the vena cava and the whole cycle starts again. And don't forget that we sometimes call this part of the circuit that passes through the lungs the pulmonary circuit, and this part that passes through the body the systemic circuit.